Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy and today we're going to be looking at the Warp Railgun 0.5 Wow, I can't wait for 1.0 by Ender010 Is that supposed to mean 2 in binary or is it really just 010? We will never know And it's always the ones with the anime PFPs who create devastating weapons of mass destruction I just want to point that out Let's go ahead and see what the Warp Railgun is capable of I mean, it's- ooh Oh, you know it's serious when you got the cool exotic matter effects. Oh, that's hot. Oh man, okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and spark this bad boy. We're gonna do a frame by frame. Frame by fr Wow, it only took like one frame for it to impact. And- <laughs> What is happening? What is it doing? Okay, what's that? We may have to turn this on to like normal display. To Holy guacamole, bro! What is what is whoa whoa whoa? Okay, I need to redo that without messing with the thing. Let's just get let's get the full power of this. Look the way that it is <laughs> abusing gravitational fields and just absolutely kerfluffling everything in its pass. I mean, that is definitely one of the more violent creations I've ever seen. This is just firing at rock, so let's give it a slightly more challenging thing to hit. Let's go ahead and use my strongest element in my mod, which is coming to the download soon. I know, the downloadable version is out of date. Just be patient and join Valor. I'm gonna post it to Valor before I post it anywhere else. You guys, if you want to know where that is, it is just V A. L O U R dot G G. It's free to make an account. It's an online community chat platform I'm developing. You need to go check it out. But let's go ahead and see what happens when we hit this massive graphene wall with the warp railgun. Oh! Oh! That is some interesting behavior. So it, it sparked it a bunch. It actually messed up our our text a bunch. Now, the immediately you may be thinking, well, this was not very damaging. It didn't do much. But notice it did. It actually penetrated. I, I don't know what uh, effect it was that managed to rip it apart. But remember, a graphene right now is the strongest thing in the game. It has the ability to handle pressure like titanium, and it has the heat capacity of tungsten. The fact that it managed to rip it apart a little bit is impressive. Let's go ahead and hit it with a few. Let's hit it with four. You can notice here, no, we're, we're definitely getting, look at that, it's actually melting the Valor.gg. The only reason that this is surviving is because the graphene is so effective at spreading the heat across itself, it's using this huge thermal mass. But if we keep hitting it, I think that the temperature is going to increase to a point where the graphene can no longer handle it. But let's see what happens. Our Valor.gg unfortunately just got absolutely melted. Yeah, it's hitting a thousand degrees now. It seems like when you hit it once, it creates particles that make it challenging to hit it again. So this isn't really a rapid fire sort of weapon. But if we very slowly continually hit the graphene, I'm curious if it's going to be able to break through. Some, something's telling me that I think it's capable, especially if we were to hit it on several different spots. Yeah, the graphene is at 1700 degrees now. That's, that's warm. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can do a barrage if we hit it with a bunch of these at the same time can we overload the graphene's ability to handle that insane amount of heat all right so we've hit it oh it's glowing red 2800 degrees wow okay so four of these and the amount of sparking they're causing too, taking advantage of the graphene's ability to conduct that tons of electricity coursing through it now is keeping it nice and warm. I think one more hit's gonna do it. 
and one more hit, and yes! It made it through! It made it through the graphene wall. Now, ironically, the gravity is actually holding it in the line, so it may actually just kind of reform a wall after. But I think the intense pressure, once the gravity disappears, may cause the wall to fly. Yeah. Boom. So yeah, it is It is actually capable of getting through that. All right. We still have this in my copy and paste, so let's go ahead and test it against a few different things. So this oil rig made by Cubal Not Found is awesome. It's like... If I was actually talented at the powder toy, he he made an oil rig that absolutely dunks on mine. So congratulations to him because this thing is beautiful. I don't know what I just did. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see if it can survive a strike. Three, two, one. Fire. Oh, I think gravity is off. No, gravity. Wait. No, it's off. Okay. One sec. We have to, we have to redo this. It is not a fair test if we do not have Newtonian gravity on. All right, ready? Three, two, one, fire. Oh, look at what it's doing to the ocean. Oh, it just absolutely vaporized the ocean. I mean, after that point, after the ocean is gone, you know that things are about to get a little bit brutal. Um, wow, well, there you go. It's, rip, it's ripping straight through. The ocean has a lot of thermal mass to pick up a lot of the energy, but still, it, it's just continuing to rip through it. Um, it may go spying. It's full of oil. Of course, it's going to explode. Yeah, but the oil does not explode this hot. Oil does not burn at 1,500 degrees Celsius. Jet fuel does not... I mean, uh, everything's burning down here now. Unfortunately, the world's reserves of oil are now on fire effective highly effective i want to try this against one more thing which is bunker city which is my if you know i love this map i use it constantly to test things uh but it's just a fantastic oh oh let's do this first let's do this first let's see if the warp <laughs> I i'm actually super curious if the warp railgun can take out an entire planet Oh, yeah, it can. Look at that. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, man, the entire thing is just turning absolutely... The little bits of gravity, uh, gravitational fields that are going all over the planet, just kind of mixing it up. And now there's just deuterium hanging out all over the place. One neutron gets out, and man... This would be very catastrophic. Thankfully, nobody is unstable enough to fire neutrons into an active, uh, basically, apocalypse. I mean, who would who would continue to increase the stakes like that? Oh, I would. All right, adding on the neutron blaster. Yeah, yeah. The planet's the planet's a little bit doomed. Little, little bit doomed. Little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and see it against Bunker City now. Da, 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 da. Where, where is it? I said Bunker City. Where's Bunker? Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. I mean, I do wear glasses. You guys can see that, right? So you can't make fun of me too much for being blind. All right. We're going to fire the laser. I'm going to fire my laser. Eh. Why? Why didn't it? What? <laughs> Can it not shoot down? What the heck? Oh yeah, what's that? Let me clean this up to try to get us some more frame rate and uh, just clean up the area so nothing blocks it. What? Why didn't it? Why didn't it work? Gravity's on. Okay, let's try this again. Three, two, one. What? Oh yeah, it literally cannot fire down. Slight design problem. But that's okay, because we have this amazing technology which is able to uh, remove buildings. We'll just fire it from the ground. Fire it at ground level. Like this. This poor dude. This bro right here at this well. He's making a wish, dropping a coin down, but little does he know. One frame. Two frames. Three frames. 
four frames, five frames, six. He's still alive. Seven. Oh no! On the eighth frame, he got absolutely obliterated. Well, at least it was painless, I think. Oh wow! The gravitational force and actual destruction is going through the bunker, even though. Even though, remember, we didn't even fire it straight down. We fired it sideways, but it's still breaking in. It's ripping through. Oh, no. Wow. That was actually a result I did not expect. I thought the bunker was going to survive. That's probably because I'm bad at the powder toy and I don't understand things properly. But generally, like... If you have like a proton bomb, like a really powerful one, it, it won't it won't go through. Like this this bunker can handle an incredible amount. Why is my deuterium solid? What? Oh oh oh! Because I have gravity on. Does this have? Ah, vertical gravity. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you. Yeah, if you, if you use, like, protons or anything to try to get into the bunker, it will not work. But I guess, uh, the gravitational railgun, or whatever it was called, was powerful enough to survive. See? See, the bunker is very effective. So the fact that that made it through when it wasn't even aimed directly on it, pretty impressive. Alright, guys. That was the... I'm gonna make sure I name it correctly this time. One second. That was the Warp Railgun. Warp Railgun. And thank you for making it. This was amazing. Thank you, Dad. Very nice. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And definitely go ahead and like and favorite this save by Ender. Because it's beautiful. Peace out.